For those of you wondering, I have a family doctor appointment this week on like the 13th, I do believe. I'm going to ask her about this because I don't know what it is. Good morning, Mountain Family. Starting this vlog off in my bathroom. Cause I'm gonna take one of these. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. Don't sit there. Don't get excited. Cause I'm pretty sure I'm not. But I have been very nauseous, very sick for like a week <laughs> or something like that. And I'm on depo. I should be getting another shot the 17th. So I should be good. But I had a friend of mine who paranoid me and she's like, well, the depot does fail and I have somebody, I know somebody, her depot failed and she got pregnant on depot. And now I'm like, all right, so <laughs> no, no, no. So just for peace of mind, that's it, that's it. Just peace of mind. I'm gonna take one of these bad boys and it's gonna come out negative. It better come out negative. Why does this thing you always make me feel like some kind of evil scientist, mad scientist, something, whatever. And I always put way too much. It says like three drops on the package, but I'm like, no, it needs sex. So while we're waiting for that, I just want to say like, it's not that I don't want another baby at all, ever. I'm going to talk about it in my New Year's resolution vlog because I'm like trying to wait to tell you guys then. It's just not right now. Not right now, not right now, not right now. I have three under three. I'm not looking to have four under four. Just, hmm, no, uh-uh, not really feeling like doing that. Plus there's like a couple of things that I wanna do and get done before, you know, we introduce another child into this world and it would just not be very good timing. So let's just pray that my depot's still working. It better be, better be. And that would be a big old fat negative, Commander. Yes, yes. I like want to party right now. I like want to like do a dance. I feel like I should have known. I feel like I feel stupid now. But I got paranoid. I got paranoid. Oh, but she here too. I think you're the one that wants to talk to the camera. I don't think like I even matter. I'm a blessing. Good morning, Mountain Family. How's it going? I hope you're having a much better morning than me. Oh my god. This whole weekend, today's Sunday, since like Friday, it, I've been having like nausea for a little over a week now, and for the past like three days, it's been kicked into like hyperdrive. Oh my god. I took a test Friday, y'all already saw that. But last night, trigger warning, if you have an eating disorder, if you're recovering from an eating disorder, and this triggers you, I'm just giving you a warning. Just fast forward the next like 30 seconds. But last night, I got up at like 4.30 in the morning, and I vomited by myself just twi twice, too. Just vomited. I normally don't do that. I have a very strong stomach, and normally, even when I get like the stomach virus, the stomach flu, I have to force myself to vomit to feel better or I will not do it. Like my stomach is just very strong and I vomited by myself twice last night at 4.30 in the morning and I woke up like burning up like oh my god just burning up. I had to go get a fan and put it on my side of the bed. I was just smoking. Oh my god. And I finally fell back asleep at like 5.30 finally and now today I'm still very very nauseous I haven't thrown up yet heartburn like crazy um, it's basically it's like the first trimester from hell it really is like I feel first trimester pregnancy symptoms like on hyperdrive kind of but I have no positive test Carly's brushing her hair <laughs> I just know that I feel like a hundred and ten percent crapola today and I'm not doing anything I'm sorry. So if this vlog sucks today. I'm sorry, but I don't want to do another one take because I feel like I just did a one take and I just don't want to do one. I'm going to try to vlog through this anyway and just pull through. I do it. Carly, brush your hair? Yeah. You're suddenly obsessed with brushing your hair? Where did, Ken where did Kenley go? Do we know? Um, right there. 
Kins. Don't stand on my couch. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. You know better. Mm -hmm. Kins, what are you doing? There you are. There's Kinley. And there she goes. And there's there's not Kinley. <laughs> well, fine then. Be yeah, like no. that. Devin just told me before he left for work five seconds ago that Andy is awake. So I have to go get her. Is that my donut from this morning? Yeah. You snuck it off my plate? Yeah. You did. Oh, well, you can eat it. That's all right. It won't kill anything. Miss Andy, I hear you. <gasps> what are you doing? You always manage to get these curtains. Oh. I don't even know how you do it. Like, seriously. I keep them over here, out of her reach, and you always manage to get them. I don't know how. I wish I knew your secret, <laughs> Lady Houdini. <laughs> You're all fed and happy now. You want to play? You don't want to be in my arms at all. She's fighting. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm making you mad. Juice. You want more juice? Yeah. I think this is old, so let's get you... Oh, I lost my shoe. <laughs> let's get you some new juice. Yeah. Because pretty sure this is disgusting and old. I don't know what Daddy got you for juice this morning. I didn't see what cup he got you. Yeah. But I'm fairly certain it's not this one. Oh, well. I'll just get you a new cup. It won't be the end of the world. It'll be fine. Hi, Miss Ellie. Hi, baby girl. We are still house training Ellie. And Dev and I have learned a trick with Miss Ellie. She likes to sneak into other rooms and poo and pee behind your back. And you don't know that she's doing it. So what our trick is that we've learned is that if we keep her very close by, very close to us, she doesn't do it. She doesn't sneak and go potty. She'll instead whine and then we'll just take her outside. And then she goes and potties. Hi, Miss Ellie. Hopefully we won't have to do this for very long. I don't know how long to do it. I just know that she's doing really well with whining and letting us know that way that she needs to go outside. But she's the best puppy in the whole world besides getting house trained, huh? You are the best girl ever. I'm not funny. What? I'm not funny. I'm an apple jack. You want pony apple jack? No. No? Hey, da wash, Daddy fed wash, you all, wash, huh? Wash, Rainbow wash. Dash. Yeah, anyway, no Dash was here. Daddy fed you guys a late lunch. Do you want some oranges until dinner time? Yeah. Yeah. That one, that one. You do? Hey, mommy, that one. No, we're not having any more donuts. I'm sorry. We had donuts this morning. I don't think we need any more. You want orange instead? I think that sounds good. Yeah, watch me try to open this one-handed yeah. like the smart person yeah. that I am. Need orange. You need orange? Yeah. Okay. All right. We we can we can do that. You want some oranges? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to give these to you. And then Mommy needs to go to the bathroom really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad. For those of you wondering, I have a family doctor appointment this week on like the 13th, I do believe. I'm going to ask her about this because I don't know what it is. I've never felt this nauseous for over a week just out of nowhere and it not be a pregnancy. It's not the stomach virus. I'm sorry, but when I get the stomach virus, it's always a 24-hour bug. Always. I never feel this nauseous for this long. Oh, my God. I'm just, I keep saying it because I'm just, like, confused. I'm just so confused. What is this? Has anybody been on Depo before and can, like, tell me what this is? Like, did you start feeling, like, 
first trimester pregnancy symptoms when the hormones were waning off or like what? Because I just want to know what it is. Well, I made myself some hot water for some tea because even though I had a negative test, I'm going to treat this like a very bad first trimester pregnancy anyway. And the only thing I know that works for me to kill nausea is the ginger tea. I don't know how long you've been subbed to me, but when I was pregnant with Andy, I found this and it worked. Now to show you guys this awesome tea that I uh, found at Walmart. It's called Ginger Aid. Ginger tea and oranges for snack today because that's about all my stomach can probably handle. I'm hoping I can have some of this yummy dinner. Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, I'm craving it so bad. I hope my stomach will let me have it. But yeah, in the meantime, <laughs> yum, yum. Yep. Yep. Easy, be yep. easy. You wanna teach Andy how to walk? Yep. Be easy, easy. Don't jerk on her. You wanna learn how to walk, Miss Andy? You wanna practice some more? You being easy. Easy to the puppy. You mommy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Kinley, you don't have to wear that inside. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm getting mauled. You have the cat? Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Did I not just tell you to put her down earlier? Him. It's a him. I keep saying her. Why do I have to keep doing that? Carly, leave the poor baby alone. He wants to get down. He wants to get down. See, he's going to run. He's like, forget this. No, run, Smokey, run. You're going to have another baby in your face. Run! <laughs> like every time! <laughs> While the girls are watching Boss Baby, because that's what they're doing right now, it's time for me to make dinner. And by make dinner, I mean take everything out of the crock pot and put it on plates. The ginger tea really helped, much like it helped when I was pregnant with Andy. Anyway, so I think I can actually eat dinner without, you know, fighting the urge to run to the bathroom every 10 seconds. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy, thank God, because I've been craving this meal for a while. Now you see it, and now you don't. I think I'm gonna call it a day, you guys, so I can get this vlog edited and uploaded for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna check out my other channel, there is a link down below. If you wanna follow me on social media, there are also links down below. And I'll see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye, guys. You know my heart, my heart.